Oh shit, I don't know where it is. Go ahead, Dan. The, the parallels are, are interesting because what we're now starting to see is there are some tapes. I don't think they're the smoke and gun tapes that thus far right. that existed in, in Nixon's case. But similarly, the cover up here, we're starting as we're peeling this onion, as the Sultan said, is starting to become bigger and bigger and bigger. We know <coughs> that there are campaign officials or potentially members of the Trump organization or both who were involved in the AMI conversations that we just learned about today. Michael Cohen said he coordinated his false testimony to Congress with members of the White House and, and members of the White House Council. The, the smoke around the cover-up here is starting to really billow, and it is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And what you're also seeing is that when confronted with it, people fold. Michael Cohen folded. AMI, David Pecker, his close friend, is folded. People don't want to go to jail. Right. And what we learned today is, and this is also an underrated takeaway from what happened, Judge Pauly sentenced Michael Cohen to two months in jail for lying to Congress, even though that was a zero to six month guideline range, and he cooperated. He yeah. cooperated. He, he should have gotten probation, you know, hands down. But Judge Pauly made the point, and he also fined him an extra $50,000 to make the point that this is very serious. So what we are starting to see is things are starting to really close in around the network of cover-up, of obstruction, and it's it's hard to imagine that it can hold. So you guys are starting to see that things are closing in, Richard, but is Washington, are Republicans starting to see that things are closing in? Because so far what we have seen as Republicans have stood by the president and said he's done nothing wrong, at what point is the straw going to break the camel's back? Because as Dan just put it, I mean, it, it, there's a lot, there's a lot, a lot of things are closing in on, on the president right now. Well, publicly, the Republicans are many of them still supporting the president, but this is a very bad situation for the president. The president's lawyer got three years in prison for crimes that he committed on behalf of the president, his client. And that's not just the payoffs for these women that were illegal campaign expenditures, uh, but a range of different crimes. If the lawyer gets three years, how much time should the client get? And that doesn't even include whatever Bob Mueller comes up with respect to Russia and obstruction of justice and the crimes that were committed there. This is entirely apart from the Russian investigation. Donald Trump is in serious trouble. His lawyers ought to be telling him to negotiate a plea deal. It's time to negotiate a comprehensive plea deal for Donald Trump to include federal and state charges reduce charges in return for his resignation. That's where this ought to be headed. That's where the Republicans in Congress ought to be driving this toward a comprehensive plea deal uh, for Donald Trump and his family members. Get him out of the White House. Ha have him resign. Plead guilty to lower charges. And let's move on as a country. Because it's quite clear his, his goose is cooked here. So you have your